Sagittarius. As uh, weird as it can be, I just found these two cards flipped upside down on my deck. I always take cards that flip upside down. And guess what they were? Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This just abundance around you. And you having a choice to make. I'm telling you, there's a decision that you have to make. Woo! Sheesh! Dang! Alright, yeah, um, Sagittarius, this is your reading for June 13th to June 19th. Ah, my foot fell asleep. Anyway. Um. Alright, yeah, hey Sagittarius. Um. So, for your reading. Uh, for your reading, I get the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of uh, Wands, and um, the Hangman. Under that, there is a Five of Swords. Okay. So, how I'm seeing this... It's like it's a beautiful week for you in terms of abundance and finances. Really, uh, the universe is taking care of you. The universe is paying you back. The universe is really nurturing you. Because though you have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, you understand? Ten of Pentacles, this is financial abundance, fulfillment, joy. You still get the nine of pentacles. The universe still adds more on what you have. Because you've been nice. You've been good. You've been... Mm, mm, mm. You've been really... You've been really flourishing. It's like the universe took notice. And with that... Uh, with that, you get the knight of pentacles, the ace of swords, and the uh, eight of swords in reverse. Okay. Be careful of ego. Be careful of your ego getting in the way, okay? In terms of, um, in terms of, uh, yes, you have all this abundance, and let's be honest, money in this world, we feel like you can buy everything. I'm gonna come back to that, just keep that in mind, okay? And that, just be careful of your ego, because, um, here comes the eight of, uh, eight of swords. Eight of swords trying to remove you from, um, that darkness that heavy mindset that um, chaotic mindset by you holding on to something and uh, look at this lady if she really lets go if she really because uh, right now she's just really letting go and the moon is really dragging her she can see a new perspective she can see new things in the new moonlight but you have it in reverse she's holding on to and when the moon really gives up on dragging her, this soul's either gonna fall or she's gonna fall through. You, you might be holding an idea back that an, that idea is gonna hurt you in the future if you keep holding on to. You know? Yeah. Let it, let yourself go. Let yourself get carried by the universe. Let yourself, you know, experience that free flow of things, you know? Don't try to hold back, because even with the Nine of Pentacles, you didn't ask, you know, you didn't command the universe to give you more. The universe gave you because it saw you, you know, really, it was your time to, to really, to experience happiness. I feel like you might have been stuck in a situation in the past that just is not it for you. In a situation in the past that was just 
oh man you know in a situation in the past that was just your past might have been really chaotic and now it's your time to really shine to really enjoy yourself to really take care of yourself to start looking at yourself to start being playful again you know be careful of your ego because now you, you you have the king of pentacles you have something of value in your hands it's like you have mold to cover whatever you want you have mold to create new opportunities you have mold to you have a mold to to create more pentacles uh you also you are in this leadership position you have this power but you can really use this pentacle this there's something you're holding on to it might be like you holding on to this pentacle so much it's gonna cause this this souls to fall so really be be prepared in the energy of receiving and giving you know just energy of exchange new change just coming in and letting go and because uh, there is an ace of swords there's an opportunity there's a passionate um desire you know to for you to take action uh, be brave and just shine through something and um with this ace of swords with this opportunity presenting itself i feel like this opportunity is presenting itself so that you can probably use this pentacle to bring this this idea to life this way this thing to life uh, i don't know what it is but it's something that's gonna make you powerful and really courageous gonna add value towards you and gonna make you be defensive about what you have because you know what value it holds so don't be attached to things just be willing to let things go um but you do get the five of okay yeah yeah i forgot you have the five of swords sideways you hold on to this you won't experience this victory because the victory is sideways i didn't choose the card to come out sideways it's just it's sideways so if you hold on to something if you hold to an idea a pentacle a way something something the moon is coming to reveal something to you and don't get too attached to it don't get too attached to your old ways let yourself get carried away that's when you can experience this victory that that's gonna it's gonna make you frolish it's gonna make you open to new things because sticking to your old ways is it's not gonna do much let's even leave that shit in the past okay okay you get the nine of wands the page of wands in reverse and the hermit above that you get the two of uh, wands and the hangman you have a decision to make i've been saying this you have a decision to make and that decision you're making is gonna whatever you go ahead with whatever you pick to go ahead with is gonna open you to new perspectives it's gonna open you to new new insights new visions is as you let yourself go as you let yourself get carried by the universe as you let yourself feel this breath you're gonna really experience this victory but this victory this, it, it comes later you know it's underneath it comes late in the future after a good time of observing yourself of observing situations around you of observing people around you of observing what's what what what's what you are in you know and with you being in the hangman it's gonna get you in your head that's not that's not gonna miss with the nine of wands yes you kind of need to get in your head you kind of need to feel that sort of pain that sort of buttons that sort of uh unsureness of what you're doing that's that sense of uh carrying buttons that sense of uh let this just feeling pity just feeling feeling low energy feeling the low vibration you know it comes with it comes with change you know you're changing yourself you're no longer holding on to something you're letting yourself go so you really it's causing some pain to some extent and it's it, from the nine of uh wands page of wands it's like you don't even want to be in this anymore you know you just want to be left alone you know you already gave it your thoughts you already gave it your mind it's like i don't even want to i don't even want to play part in this anymore i don't want to i don't want this anymore you know and it's putting in that hammer energy you know 
even though you're still in this icy situation, even though you're still in this standing on thin ice, it's like you you're not making movement. You're just stuck there, and by being stuck, it puts you in this hermit energy. Um, with the hermit energy, it just it's new insight too. It's like you're getting a new perspective. That's really what I'm seeing. I could just end the reading right now, which I am. Cause look, the hermit, the eight of swords, the hangman. New perspective, new insight, new ways of doing things. Just moonlight in your life to reveal that probably the way things went in the past, they're not the way they're supposed to. Oh, the way things they went in the past, it's not how they are meant to, you know. And with the hangman, the hangman just, they're seeking more knowledge within them. They're seeking more, um, they're seeking more, um, wisdom within themselves uh the hangman is a person who uh kind of goes through some shit and they get a lamp they go up the mountain with the lamp to just seek more knowledge and take time for themselves uh this could be a lover's situation i gotta say because i just saw 11 11 this could be a lover situation where you might be holding on to a way of um going by things I don't know but it could be a person in your life who you had to let go and it's really causing you pain it's really causing you to feel some type of way and uh, you get the ten of swords the nine of swords and the four of cups it's um it's really more of um, this could be a father figure in your life king of pentacles there could be a desire for you to be brave and just decide to walk away from uh, people who are stuck in their ways people who hold on to shit that it gets spoiled because the universe is awarding you with your own shit you know there might be a king of pentacles in your life who thinks who are not seeing a, a there might be a king of pentacles in your life who are not seeing a, a perspective. There might be a person in your life who are not allowing themselves to see this, um, to get carried by the universe. There might be a person in your life who's not, who's deciding to take action towards you. But, sorry if I said this is the love situation because now the love situation just fell out of the window. Ignore that. This could be a person in your life who really really is stuck in their ways because they have power they feel that power and they want to control that power they want to control that desire this looks like the tower for me and if they keep sticking in their ways these swords are gonna fall onto them you know uh there might be a desire for you to take time for yourself understand yourself if this is the father figure the earthly parents yes we support we, we well we're supposed to love everybody but once you realize sometimes like your parent or, or the people are power controlling egocentric it's 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 less like no i have to stand for myself i have yes i will feel painful hating you as a parent not even hating you for just letting you go as a parent but i know god is the provider god is the giver because you know with this nine of pentacles it's like God actually blessing you, you know, with something a bit more because somebody might have left you in the cold in the past. Somebody might have left you feeling abandoned. Somebody might have left you just to play their own games, you know. And now it feels like it's your time to, to you know, make a decision. Do you really want to go ahead with this or, you know, do you just... Do you just want to stick in your ways? You know? And there is this call for new perspective. There is this call for new knowledge, for new insight. I would say with the hangman, ten of swords, nine of swords, and the four of swords, I would say give it some time. Uh, take some time for yourself. 
I think, yeah, that, that's what the hangman also says. Uh, the hangman says, let yourself go and experience something. And also at the same time, take some time for yourself. Don't worry about the time, just take some time for yourself. And feel that pain, feel the loss, feel the abandonment, feel, feel left out, feel the, feel the pain. Know how the pain feels. Because once you know how the pain of, you know, people trying to be controlling, people try, trying to be ruthless, people trying to be power hungry, it makes you, it should make you really want to be different. It should make you go in your head and try to treat people different. It should make you go in your head and speak to your angels and just be different. Don't be the same. Just do things a bit different than they did. And open yourself up, you know, throw away that cup if it's no longer fulfilling you. If you were, let's say, financially dependent to your parents, if you were um, looking up to somebody and that situation is like, it, it ain't working no more for me, walk away. See, look for things that really make you a bit happy. Hold the things that make you happy. You know, understand, you know, it's not always our parents. Sometimes friends are more than parents to us, you know. And... You know, it might be time to really start looking around and just enjoying time with your friends, you know, people around you and throw away something that no longer fulfills you. Uh, if this is a friend, it might be uh, some time for your family. I don't know. Whoever made you feel left out, you might just want to take some time for yourself and um, think about things and realize the way they do things. And your job in this universe is to do better, to do different from what people did to you. Thank you for all the ratings. Thank you for your time. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.